Hi kids, we bring warm greetings from Abu Dhabi Assembly of God Children's Church. It's so good to see you all once again in this manner. We have entered into a new month. God has been so faithful and good to us throughout the past six months and he's been faithful to us. Yes, we have a living God on whom we can put our trust. I just want to share with you an encouraging verse from the Bible. It says in Psalms 23 verse 4, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. Your rod and your staff protect me and comfort me. Yes, we have a God who will protect us and who will comfort us throughout all our situations. So let's close our eyes and say this word of prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you for all the wonderful things that you've done in our life. Thank you for your protection throughout all these six months. Thank you for all the promises that you've given us. Help us to cling on to your promises and trust in you in all our situations. Lord, we pray and bless all these children who are watching this program. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, kids, now it's time to worship the Lord. Join with Mercy and Sharon and enjoy the rest of the time. And don't forget to share this uh, link with your friends so that they can also watch and be blessed. Hi kids! The space is not enough for us. Let's move to another place. <gasps> this, this is so much, much better. better. Hi kids! Hope you are excited today. Are you all feeling bored? Join with us. And let's praise the Lord.
Hi kids, hope you all enjoy praising and worshipping a lot. Now we have come to the most exciting moment. Yes, we are going to explore the Bible. Listen carefully to the story Meena Aunty is going to share with you. And at the end of the program, you will have quiz time. Hi kids, praise the Lord. How are you all? Hope you are all doing good by God's grace. Happy to see you all again in Children's Church Story Time. Today, Auntie will teach you about trusting God. What is trust? Strong belief. Let's see the memory verses first. Psalms Chapter 20 verses 7 and 8 Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to the knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. Shall we repeat the memory verses kids? Psalms chapter 20 verses 7 and 8 some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought to the knees and fall, but we rise up and stand firm. In these verses, we see that King David put his trust on God and not in his chariots and horses. Kids, have you seen a horse? Auntie will show you a horse now. Horses are one of the most beautiful creatures that our Lord has made. You know kids, the eyes of the horses are largest of any land mammals. It has excellent vision but it can see only two colors. Horses can rotate their ears by 180 degrees to hear properly. Horses teeth grow continuously. Horses sleep 3 to 4 hours per day. It can sleep lying down or standing up. Horses live up to 25 to 30 years. In olden days, horses were used for transportation and in battles. It is written in Bible, A horse is a vain hope for deliverance. Despite all its great strength, it cannot save. During king's time, the number of horses and number of chariots represent the strength of the kingdom. But God warned the king of Israelites not to increase the number of horses and chariots. He warned them not to put their trust on these horses and chariots. Normally, people like us don't use horses. Then what is considered as a strength of a normal person? The money we earn, knowledge and talents, and number of friends. Yes, kids, Lord has blessed us with richness of this world, good friends, knowledge and talents. But God wants His children to put their trust only on Him and not on all these worldly things. Kids, when someone asks you, what is your strength, what will be your answer? You should answer them, my God is my strength, I only trust on Him. Yes kids, today we will see a story of a young boy who put his trust on God and won a battle with a giant. Who is a giant? A person with a great size or power. Kids, before watching this story, we will play a game. The name of the game is Defeat the Goliath. Things needed are a Goliath printout, a paper cup, crushed paper balls, glue, pair of scissors and balloons. Take the paper and roll it. Apply glue on one side. And make it as a stand. Take the paper cup and cut the bottom of the paper cup using scissors and take the balloon. You put a knot one side and you cut a half of the balloon. Stretch the balloon over the cup. 
your slingshot is ready place the crushed paper inside the paper slingshot and you can shoot using it place goliath on one end of the table make him to stand and keep your slingshot ready with the crushed ball and try to hit goliath kids i hope you have enjoyed the game now we will watch the story of david who killed goliath in the valley of ella which is written in the bible in the book of first samuel chapter 17 kids be alert and be active watch the story carefully you will be having few questions at end of the story long ago there lived a young shepherd boy whose name was david his father's name was jesse david was eighth son of jesse and he took care of his father's sheep very well david loved to sing songs for god during that time king saul was ruling israelites david's three brothers were in saul's army god sent samuel to anoint david to be the next king there was a battle between israelites and philistines saul led his army to battle against philistines the philistines did not believe in god and they did not like god's people israelites king saul's army made their camp on one hill and the philistines army made their camp on the other hill there was a valley in between them every morning and evening a huge philistine named goliath from gath would come into the valley and yell to the israelites goliath stood and shouted at the armies of israelites choose a man and have him come down and fight me if he can kill me then we will become your slaves if i kill him then the israelites must become slaves to the philistines i came to defy the armies of israel goliath did this every day for 40 days the israelites were very frightened and no one wanted to fight the giant man he was over 9 feet tall and he had a bronze helmet and a bronze armor he had a huge spear and he even had a servant who walked in front of him carrying a shield David was not in Saul's army. Father Jesse would often send David to take food and supplies to the three brothers who were in Saul's army. This time when David arrived at the army's camp with supplies, he was very surprised at what he saw. He arrived just in time to see Goliath come out and make his challenge. David could not believe that anyone would talk about God. in such a bad way david knew that god is stronger than anyone david heard some of the soldiers say that whoever was brave enough to fight goliath would win many prizes from saul when david started asking the soldiers about goliath his brothers overheard him and they became angry one of his brother said why have you come down here and with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness david replied now what have i done is there not a cause but david had an idea david went to king saul and told him that he wanted to fight goliath david told the king how that the lord always helped him when a bear had carried off one of his father's sheep david had chased it and hit it and the bear died The Lord had also given him the strength to fight the lions when they tried to kill the sheep. David said, "I know I am not a soldier, but I know that God will help me fight against the giant. I trust in God, and God is stronger than any bears, lions, giants, or spears." King Saul listened to what David said. Saul believed David when he said he trusted in God. King Saul even gave David his own armor and sword but David tried wearing and could not walk properly David decided to fight Goliath using only his sling David went down to a stream and collected five smooth stones 
with the sling stones and trust in the lord david was ready to face the enemy when goliath saw david he started making fun of him he also started making fun of god he told david that he would kill him and feed him to the birds david still trusted in the lord he told goliath you come against me with the sword and spear but i come against you in the name of the lord almighty the god of the armies of israel whom you have defied today i will kill you and the whole world will know that there is a god in israel ayat moved close to attack david david ran toward him quickly and put one of the stones in his sling he swung the swing round and round and released the stone straight to goliath's forehead the stone hit goliath and he fell on his face to the earth David ran and stood over Goliath and took his sword and killed him and cut off his head when the Philistines saw that a boy had killed the champion Goliath hero they all began to run away the army of Israel won the battle they won because David trusted in the Lord kids we have seen the story of David by putting his trust on god how he killed goliath you will be thinking who is our goliath the problems we are facing in our day to day lives for some kids writing an examination is a problem for some kids standing in front and giving a speech is a problem kids whatever may be your problem don't face it alone the first thing you have to do when you face a problem in your life as pray to god and tell to god how you feel about it the second thing you have to do is read your bible regularly god will speak to you god's word will give you strength to face your problem the third one is ask god to fill you with this holy spirit for god has not given us a spirit of fear but of power of love and of sound mind It's written in 2 Timothy 1.7 Kids, facing a, an examination is a problem for you and it will give you a small suggestion. Prepare well for that particular exam ahead of time. The second one you have to do is, if you are fearful, say loudly, I am not going to face this examination alone. My God is with me. Surely I will win this battle. On the day of examination say like David today i will win this battle with the help of my god surely god will give victory over all your problems shall we pray kids close your eyes dear lord thank you lord for all your suggestions lord help these kids to overcome their problem by putting their trust on you and your words fill them with your holy spirit lord give them courage lord Be gracious unto them, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. It's craft time, kids. David killed Goliath and God made him as a king at the age of 13. Can we make a crown for Goliath? king david to make a crown we need six color paper and a glue you can use white paper also take a color paper fold it into a half and then again fold it like this open the folding from the top right and the other half from the left has to be folded like this you will get a triangle at the top the remaining part you have to fold till the end of the triangle 
to mark the edge of the triangle open the folding now you have to fold it into a half like this and one part of our crown is ready similarly you have to make four parts for a small head and for a big head you need six parts take all the parts and apply glue and make a crown like this and your crown is ready kids are you all ready for the quiz time now quickly go and grab your pencils and paper and note down the questions you can send in your answers to the whatsapp number given below send in your answers with the, with your photograph your name your age and from which place you're from and then you can send your answers okay are you all ready now note down the first question who's the father of david once again i'm going to tell you who is the father of david now the second question who anointed david as king the second question is who anointed david as king now the third question where did david strike goliath with a sling i'll repeat it where did david strike goliath with a stone and a sling are you all ready the first 10 winners will be announced in the next week's program okay now for the kids about 10 years your questions are there uh, in a google form just visit our website www.adag.ae your questions are there quickly answer those questions and then you can also send in uh, your photograph with your age and your place to the same whatsapp number bye kids see you all next week